The Darts Regulation Authority are the governing body of professional darts and give fines to players who break the rules. Today we will be looking at some interesting and strange reasons why some players got fined. Before this video begins, please make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications as currently just 1% of my watch time comes from subscribers. Colin Lloyd is a former PDC World No. 1 and a two-time major champion, having won the World Grand Prix in 2004 and the World Match Play in the following year. He was the number one seed for the 2007 World Championships, but by the following year had fallen to 12th. He was back in the top 10 seeds for the next three World Championships, but never hit the same heights as his early run in the PDC. He entered the 2011 World Championship as the ninth seed and was drawn to face Andre Welge, who qualified from the European Order of Merit in the first round of the event. Lloyd hit double 10 to win the first set 3-0 and took out 25 to go 2-0 up in the first to three set game. However, Welge mounted a comeback and hit double 16 three times to win the third set 3-0. Welge then won the next set, taking all three legs to make it six legs on the bounce. This made the game 2-all and annoyed Lloyd, who was averaging in the low 80s. Lloyd missed multiple doubles to hold throw in the first leg of the deciding set, allowing Welge to break and become the favorite for the match. Lloyd started the following leg with a score of 55, which visibly annoyed him so much that he punched the board. The board also was seen to move on replay. Lloyd missed more doubles to end up winning this leg, but Welge nicked it and went within a leg of the match. However, in the next leg Lloyd hit an 86 checkout, smiling before he went for the bowl. Welge missed match darts in the following leg, which Lloyd won, taking the match to a tie break. Lloyd won the next two legs and the match. After the game, he threw his three darts on the floor at the side of the stage. Following this game, Lloyd was fined £2,000 by the Darts Regulation Authority, half of which was for punching the board, and half of which was for throwing his darts to the floor in a reckless manner. The EADC is the PDC's Russian affiliate, and therefore the DRA can give fines to their players. Back in 2015, during one of the EADC's Russian Pro Tour events, Nikolai Michelin, a relatively unknown Russian player, took on Marco Cantili, who has appeared in 10 World Cups and 4 PDC World Championships in a first-round game. Cantili took a 5-1 lead in the game and missed multiple match darts to win 6-3 and 6-4. Michaelin took out 72 to send the match to a sudden death leg, which he won on double four, prompting a very large and over-the-top celebration for a first-round win. Before I roll the clip, I would like to give a headphone warning, as it does get very loud. Michaelin was fined 100 euros by the DRA for shouting, removing his shirt and running around at conclusion of match. I cannot find data online to suggest that he has played competitive darts since 2015. During an interview with the BBC that was released in 2015, Gary Anderson, 
who is a two-time back-to-back PDC world champion, revealed that he deliberately lost a Premier League match against Adrian Lewis at Glasgow's SECC in 2011. The Scottish crowd threw beer at Lewis on his entrance to the arena and also threw coins onto the stage at Lewis during the game. Anderson, who was the hometown hero, led the match 3-0 but, with Lewis suffering a disgraceful abuse, allowed the Englishman to reel off eight legs in a row to secure an 8-3 victory. Anderson said that he had lost intentionally as he did not want to win a game where abuse happens and thought it was a disgrace. Anderson stated that he is a proud Scotsman but when that happened, it sickened him. Adrian is a good friend of his and he felt that it was terrible. Anderson said it was not right for him to win the game. This could sound like match fixing, and so Anderson was forced to release a statement on Twitter which said that he didn't answer that question as he meant to. He said that he would never intentionally lose a match, nor step onto the Aki and give anything other than his best, but that night he thought the crowd behavior was so disgraceful that he lost all his motivation to win and was completely unable to concentrate. He stated that it wasn't a question of not wanting to win, but he just found himself without the ability to do so because he felt so ashamed of what was happening that he could not focus at all on playing and his game fell apart. The PDC also released a statement saying that although they could see how Gary's comments may have been misconstrued, they had confidence in the integrity of Gary and all their players and would not want a slip in an interview to undermine this. However, Anderson was still given a £3,000 by the DRA for inappropriate comments. Nathan Richards is an English player who worked at an Amazon warehouse. However, Richards, who is nicknamed Gingerami, spends the rest of his time and money on chasing his dream of becoming a pro player. He went to PDCQ school for the fifth time in 2020 and entered the event having never won a game in the previous four attempts. Before one of his games, he told his opponent that he had already booked him a taxi home. However, he eventually got his first win, beating Michael van der Mescht 5-0 with a 60.6 average. He did a large celebration and shouted 5-0. He was quoted as saying this is the year. I've had five Sambucas and I'm going to get my tour card. However, in round two he was handed a 5-2 defeat and a warning for his behavior at the Aki. He was later fined £400 by the DRA for disruptive behavior and given a formal warning as to his future behavior, which increased to a £600 fine and a suspension.